my facial cleansing brush from Clavizo. I have the pink one, it also comes in blue. This is amazing. It has a skin friendly brush head that's suitable for all skin types. It's non-toxic, it has that soft silicone brush head with high density bristles, so it delivers a skin friendly touch and gentle care for your face. We want to be really careful with our face. It's widely suitable for all skin types, even for sensitive skin. The brush head is designed to remove residual makeup, grease, blackheads, and more, leaving your skin feeling fresh, refreshed, and clean. It has high frequency vibration, really gets in and deep cleans your pores. The vibration is up to about 8,000 times per minute. So you get that really good deep cleanse. You can select and customize the intensity adjustment. So a little bit less intense for sensitive skin, oily skin, or acne prone skin. And I love that the brush is fully adjustable for your preferences. It's waterproof and portable, easy to use and easy maintenance. All you do is charge it with any USB port. It's really easy to use. You wet your face and the brush head with water, apply your favorite facial cleanser to the brush head, turn on the brush and choose your desired intensity level. Gently move the brush in circular motions around your face for about one to two minutes. Rinse your face with water and pat it dry. Turn off the brush and rinse the brush head also with water. Wipe the brush dry with a clean towel and store it in a dry place. I just store mine in the box that it came in. This facial brush has really changed the skincare game for me. I feel like it really gets all of my makeup off and I'm someone that double cleanses anyways and this just removes all of that makeup residue and really just gets in and cleans my pores. I feel like my skin is refreshed and ultra clean which is really important especially as we age we have to take care of our skin especially the skin on our face it's sensitive it's thinner and we really need to give it the utmost respect and this Clavizo facial brush brush is amazing so I'll link it down below for you with a special discount code definitely check it out Good morning welcome to today's what I eat in a day I had an amazing walk this morning, as you saw. It was 71 degrees at 5 a.m. It was beautiful. I saw maybe two people on my walk, so it was absolutely lovely. I did have my protein coffee, and I am about to go into the kitchen to make some breakfast. We have a really busy, exciting day today. First of all, my hair. If you didn't know, I got my hair done about a week ago and I went from my blonde balayage to this more sultry, dark look. This is just much less maintenance for me. The blonde balayage was hard to keep. The blonde blonde without it becoming brassy, covering up all the gray that I have up here. And I just was ready for something different. So we went with this more brown, vibe with a little bit of highlight around the face and underneath so when I pull my hair up you can see the little bit of lighter brown and I'm loving it. You guys have been loving it. I've posted in my Facebook group and on my Instagram and thank you for all the kind words. You guys really like me, have embraced the darker hair and like me, like it a lot better and like I said my hair's healthier and it's much more lower maintenance. We also purchased an adjustable bed. Now this was something that we've been wanting to purchase for a very long time if you didn't know, Troy actually has to sleep with his legs elevated every single night. He can't sleep flat. So he's been using this foam wedge that we bought off of Amazon a couple of years ago. And we're now in the market for a new mattress. And we thought, what better time to take advantage of needing a new mattress and buy an adjustable 
bed. They are not inexpensive. I was actually quite surprised at how expensive beds in general are, especially adjustable beds, but it was an investment that was needed for us, especially for Troy. We can get rid of that foam wedge that falls on the floor several times during the night, and it's just going to be a lot better for him. It's a lot better for me. If you didn't know, I've been sleeping on the couch since I got home from my surgery because I'm just not able to lay flat in the bed, so I'll be able to adjust the bed for me as well while I continue to recover. So that is coming this morning we bought new sheets we bought a new comforter we ended up getting a king bed that's what we have in our bedroom but we got the split king so that Troy's able to elevate his legs and I'm able to adjust my side I'm typically a stomach sleeper so I can't have my legs elevated or it's just really uncomfortable so we decided to go with the split so we had to buy new sheets we're really excited so I'll show you guys our current bed I'll show you guys the new bed I'm going to coffee this morning with my realtor who we actually bought our house from we kind of became friends through the process. I haven't seen her in a while, so we're going to go have some coffee. It's just a busy day. We, we need to clean the house today. We have lots of laundry to do. We're putting together a big donation of all of our old bedding and things. We're washing that, getting that ready to donate. So we actually have an incredibly, incredibly busy day today. So I wanted to be comfortable today, but also be cute since I'm going out for coffee. So I thought I would share with you my outfit of the day, my OOTD. But before I share my outfit, I know I'm going to get questions on what eyeshadow I'm wearing. You guys are always curious what makeup I'm wearing. So today I'm actually wearing the Italian Spritz palette from Too Faced. I bought this on a whim and I actually really like this palette. So I have a lot of these orangey tones on my lid and then I popped in some blue on my lower lash line for some fun color. So I'll link that down below for you. I have the new Velma gloss from Glam Light with their Scooby-Doo collection on for that little bit oranger lip. So I'll link my palette and stuff down below for you. And then for my outfit today, I'm really excited to be partnering with Yvette Sportswear for this portion of the video. You know that I've shared Yvette with you guys multiple times in the past. They're pretty much the only sports bra I wear. I wear a lot of their workout clothes to boot camp and when I'm going to the gym. And I decided to invest in a few more pieces post-op, a little bit smaller sizes, a little bit more comfortable pieces to wear as I'm still recovering, but getting back into working out, which by the way, I am fully released back to normal life as of July 1st. So I will be going to boot camp. I will be going to the gym. I'm really excited. So first let me share with you what I'm wearing today. This little top right here is so buttery soft and so incredibly comfortable. This is the Anywhere V-neck Side Knot Yoga T-shirt. It actually comes in black and white in sizes extra small through extra large. I have mine in a size large in black and it is oversized. I could have definitely sized down to a medium, even a small. So if you are plus size, you could go with a large or extra large and it's likely that it would fit you. There are size guides on the Yvette website, so make sure you're checking the size guides. But you can see that this is very oversized. It's very flowy. I love the V-neck with the cap sleeve and the little knot detail on the side is so cute. And it is long enough that you could wear it with biker shorts or leggings or denim shorts. This doesn't necessarily have to be a yoga or workout top. This is an everyday top. It's more of a elevated t-shirt and I am loving this. And then I've wanted a pair of these hybrid shorts for a while where it kind of looks like a skirt but then has the biker short underneath. I fell in love with this color of the Sculpt Scalloped 2-in-1 Running Shorts. It comes in both the peachy color that I have in black, sizes extra small, through extra large. I picked mine up in a size large and these fit me perfectly. I love that they have the built-in biker short camouflage is my loose skin. And then this flowy scallop design conceals a lot of the problem areas, hips, thighs, stomach, and gives you more of a flowy dressed up look. I actually think it's really cute with this t-shirt. It would be adorable with a fitted, maybe ribbed tank top. You can use these again as everyday pieces or as workout pieces. Again, great for running because they have the built-in biker short. And then I picked up a couple of sports bras because like I said, I live in Yvette sportswear, sports bras for the price. They are some of the best quality. I mean, we're talking like Lululemon dupe for a much more affordable price. So I had to get this kind of peachy colored bra. Not only do I love the color, but I love the style of this. This is the Power V-neck Cross Back Padded Running Bra. It actually comes in about eight different colors in sizes small all the way through 5XL. It's very size inclusive. There is something for everyone. I love this. I wanted this for boot camp because it's very supportive. And once I'm able to remove my 
support garment that I have to wear for about the next four weeks. I wanted a sports bra that was just as supportive for working out. Again, I love the color. I love the kind of mesh detail here with the breathability. The back of this is so cute. It is a strappy back and it does have adjustable straps. I have pretty small so shoulders, so I typically have to really adjust the straps to get that support in my shoulders. This is so cute, so comfortable. It does have the clasp in the back with the three different notches. Super, super stretchy. I love this color. I'm probably going to pick up a couple more colors and this is just a really good high support sports bra. And then I wanted a black bra and I wanted a zip front bra. You know that I'm still unable to fully lift my arms over my head and like and pull my arms all the way back. So these zip front or button front bras are essential for me right now. And again, I wanted to get one that was just a solid black. I also love the back of this. It is a full coverage back, which I very much appreciate. It does add that extra bit of support, kind of conceals if you have any back fat, armpit skin, or any skin along your side of your breast along the side here. I had a lot of that. So this type of bra comes in really handy. This is the Power Zip Adjust bra. This is a running bra. It is also a high support bra. Comes in four different colors and again sizes small through 5XL. Love the zip front. Love the adjustable straps. Really, really love the high support, high coverage back. Again, I need two really good high support bras to get back to working out here in just a couple of weeks. And the price of these and the quality of these, you can't beat it. And you know I love a jacket. I love a good jacket, especially to wear to boot camp when it's a little bit chillier in the mornings. I don't have that problem so much now in the summer, but spring, fall, winter, I wear a jacket to boot camp. I often wear a jacket when I walk to the gym and I love the more performance style of jackets. This is the Shift Mock Neck Thumb Hole Full Zip Jacket. It actually comes in black and a beautiful blue color, sizes medium through 3XL. I picked mine up in a large and for a sports jacket, sports kind of fitted jacket, this one is a little bit oversized. I probably could have got this in a medium. So if you're between sizes, I feel like you'd be okay to size down. This is buttery soft. It is the performance material. I love the little detail along the back. It has all of the ribbing, so it draws in and contours the body. It does have thumb holes, which I very much appreciate. A mock neck and is a full zip jacket. This is so cute, so comfortable. I live in these types of jackets. And for the price, again, the quality is fantastic. And remember, if you are between sizes, you could probably size down in the jacket. And then this was something I was super excited to see on their website. This is a new product for Yvette. This is a cross body bag. Now this could be used for the gym, the pool, for travel. This is absolutely adorable. This is the adjustable drawstring gym crossbody bag. It actually comes in black and kind of a taupe color. I picked mine up in black. I love the orange detail. I mean, it goes with the bra, it goes with my shorts. I love that this is a cross body design. We have quite a few pools in my community and I love to go lay by the pool, go swimming in the summer. And I thought how perfect would this be so I could walk to the pool and put my towel in here, my sunscreen, snacks, water. Again, fantastic for travel, fantastic for the gym. I love the size of this. It does have the zipper on the front and it is a good sized bag. There's some extra zippers on the inside. The strap is fully adjustable and I love just the orange detail. This bag is so cute. It is a waterproof material. It'd be great for the beach. The sand would just fly right off of this. And again, great for the pool, travel, the gym. This is adorable and probably my favorite thing of this little haul. So that's everything that I picked up from Yvette. That's my outfit of the day, the eyeshadow palette that I have on today. Don't forget, I will link everything down below for you. And I do have a very special discount for you from Yvette. So I will put that down in the description box. I'll link each of these pieces separately if you're interested in what I showed you. And I'll put the Yvette website so you can do some shopping. Highly recommend. And thank you again to Yvette for working with me for this portion of today's video. I love you event sportswear and I can't wait to pick up some more pieces. So let's make some breakfast. We have to start getting the bed ready. They are supposed to deliver between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. this morning. So we're going to get our bed basically broken down, get all the bedding in the wash, vacuum under it, get ready for the new bed. So I'm quickly going to have some breakfast. I decided to go ahead and make a breakfast sandwich. I do have one of these Thomas protein, cinnamon and protein English muffins left. 
The cinnamon is pretty mild, so I do still use these for regular breakfast sandwiches. So we're going to toast that up. I am going to do one egg, and I just cook that in my little microwave egg cooker. I bought this on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. And then I add one slice of Canadian bacon and one slice of Sargento ultra thin cheese. And I make this really delicious breakfast sandwich. And then I have a couple big chunks of watermelon left. I'm going to finish up those as well. And here's my breakfast. This looks so good. So there's the egg, the Canadian bacon, the cheese, and then those big hunks of watermelon. These plates, by the way, I bought off of Amazon. I love them. They come with six different colors and they kind of have this rough terracotta edge. I've been really focusing on using smaller plates just to watch my portions a little bit more so I'll link these down below for you as well but this is going to be my breakfast so we just got everything ready for the bed we got everything cleaned out we pulled the old mattress off the old box spring we've got everything washing all the stuff we're going to donate and then we realized we forgot to buy a power strip when we were out buying the bedding this weekend and they recommended having a power strip just for surge protection for the adjustable bed so I'm making a quick run to fries for a power strip and then Troy wants something sweet maybe some mini cookies or something so we're on our way to fries all right what do I choose I definitely want to get a pretty high quality one they do have some really inexpensive ones down here but this adjustable bed costs a lot of money so I want to make sure we don't have any issues so I'm going to get this one because it has six outlets and a thousand for surge protection. These other ones have like 750, 400, and then these actually, these inexpensive ones, they don't have any. So I am going to go with this guy for $14.99. And I'm picking up a refill of the mini sugar cookies. So here is the before. So this is our current mattress, our current set up. So we're still able to use our bed frame. We just have a different, we don't have a box spring anymore. It has the adjustable bed and then the new mattresses. Of course, like I mentioned, we got new bedding. So you'll get to see that, that as we change that out as well. We got one adjustable bed. Yeah, there's not much to it for thousands of dollars. Two of these. Yeah, two of those. He said he might have to take out this one of the supports, so we'll just have to see. So they're getting ready to put the adjustable bed frames in, plug them into that surge protector we picked up. Right there she is in all her glory. We're going to go ahead and put our new sheets and everything on the bed. The base that we got actually vibrates has a light, does the head, lumbar, and feet. So we're really excited. Oh, see, I've been outside this whole time. Bummer. Hi, you guys had to stay outside. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's get a treat. Pump, no, off the of bed. Off the of bed, Bella. Come on, let's get a treat. All right, here you go. Good job waiting outside for the mattress, people. Good job. All right, she's in. We ordered some king-size pillowcases on Amazon. They're not here yet, so we're using our old tan colored ones. But we did get these kind of fun cream, tan, orange pillowcases and sheets from JCPenney. And we also got this comforter because we wanted to add a little bit of pop of color in our bedroom. This bed is so much higher than our old one. Palmer stairs used to go to the top of the mattress and now they're like a foot down. And the bedding matches the picture we have in our bedroom too. So that is the new adjustable bed. So Troy's giving you an example. So his side moves independently from my side. That's why we did the two twins. So our sheets are actually twin XLs and then the comforter is a king. That way when the beds separate and change, it doesn't cause a gapping in the sheet. So you can do your lumbar, you can raise your head, and you can raise your feet. Lola, come on, come on, you can come up. Oh yeah, you're up, of course you are. Okay, show them how to raise the head and the, there's the feet, so this is perfect for Troy so he can elevate his legs at night. We'll sleep under the comforter so there won't be that gapping. So this is what would have happened with the sheets if we wouldn't have gotten twin. There would have been that big hump in the sheets because I don't elevate my legs at night. So it goes really, really, really high. 
So that's perfect for him. And then he can adjust his head too. And when you're watching TV, you can adjust it up so you can sit and watch TV. So this side is mine and Lola's side. That side is Palmer's. Yeah, you. And your daddy's side. Do you want to get on a new bed? Look, come here. Come here. Get on a new bed, Lola. Up you up. Palmer. Yeah, you did it. Good job, Lola. No. Come on, guys, get off bed. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm going to have some of my homemade trail mix before I head out the door here in about a half of an hour to meet the realtor for coffee. So I have some candied pecans, Lily's white chocolate chips, raw almonds, freeze-dried, no sugar added blueberries, and pumpkin seeds. I love making my own trail mix. It just makes it so much healthier and you can control everything that goes into it. So I am on my way to meet the realtor for coffee. She actually had reached out. Uh, I actually reached out to her because my next door neighbor is moving away, which I'm completely bummed out about and they have to sell their house. And I was telling her how great our realtor was. So she wanted her contact information. So we started a conversation and then she invited me to go have coffee with her today, which I'm excited about. I haven't seen her since right after we moved here, her and I went and had coffee. I would say like one or two months after we moved to Arizona and I haven't seen her since. Oh, that's actually not true. I saw her at the gym once. Speaking of the gym, a little more updates on working out. So according to the surgery, surgery team, I'm able to work out at six weeks. So I am released to normal life, they said, as of July 1st. I'm still going to listen to my body and just make sure that my body is ready for all of that. She said that at five weeks, which is the day you see this video, I should be able to lift my arms fully over my head with no issues. It was just pulling on the incision and things that they were worried about. So I should be able to lift my arms over my head. As of right now, there's no way that I could do full boot camp. I mean, I can't run. It hurts to run. I actually had to run out the gate a little bit this morning. So I didn't miss the gate closing and it hurt. So I don't see myself running or doing burpees or, you know, that type of thing at boot camp. I'm going to have to make some modifications for a while just until I'm fully able to get back to boot camp 100%, but I'm so happy to go back to normal life. I'm so happy. After we have coffee, we are going to have some lunch. I have a really good dinner recipe to share with you guys today. We love our new bed. Absolutely love our new bed. It is perfection. I can't wait to actually sleep in the bed tonight. That's going to be a big change of pace for me. I'm a little tired today. I didn't sleep the best last night. The couch isn't the best place to sleep for me. I'm up and down a lot. I'm moving around, readjusting a lot, especially because it does have pressure and tension if I try to lay in different positions. So I'm excited to try sleeping in the bed tonight. I'm hoping that I get a really, really good night's sleep. So this little second bit of coffee is coming in clutch today. So I'm going to make myself a big salad for lunch. I have been craving a salad. So let me show you what I'm going to first put in my salad and then what I'm going to use for protein. So I'm gonna do a mix of crispy lettuce, which is basically green leaf lettuce, baby spinach, and then I do like to add in a little bit of fresh basil. It just gives it some really good flavor. I have these cherry tomatoes, sliced mushrooms. I also have some diced up red onion and some light shredded cheese. And then I made this vinaigrette a few days ago for a salad. I'm going to finish it up. I will go ahead and put here on the screen what is in my vinaigrette. I just make this at home. It's a great way to control what's in your dressing and you can control calories, fat, all of that in your salad dressing. And then for protein, I'm going to do the Just Bear chicken strips. So I'm gonna throw a couple of these in my air fryer. That's going to give me 17 grams of protein. And I just dice it up and throw it on top of my salad. So here is my lunch. This looks amazing. So I did two of the Just Bear chicken strips for my 17 grams of protein, about a tablespoon of the light cheese, the dressing, as well as lots and lots of veggies. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. So for dinner tonight, I am making a chicken and leek pie. This is a super, super easy recipe. We use pre-made potatoes, just some leeks, some spinach, some cheese, really easy. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need some chicken breast, Dijon mustard, minced garlic. I'm adding spinach for some extra greens, light shredded cheese, creme fraiche. And you guys so kindly let me know that you could substitute sour cream for this because she's expensive. So I got the creme fraiche. I'm going to use that, but there are substitutions you can make. And then I'm using the pre-made sour cream and chive Bob Evans potatoes. Again, 
for ease and then you'll need a couple of leeks. So I have my skillet warming up with some nonstick cooking spray. I diced up my chicken breast, so I'm going to add that. I also chopped up my leeks, so I'm going to add my leeks. Big heaping scoop of minced garlic, and we're going to allow this to cook down. My chicken's about three quarters of the way cooked, so I'm going to add in this couple handfuls of spinach and just allow that to wilt down with the chicken and the leeks. Next, I'm going to add in my creme fraiche, Dijon mustard, and about half of my light shredded cheese. Go ahead and turn the heat off and stir that together. Then we're going to remove the chicken from the heat. I'm going to preheat my oven to 375 degrees and we'll get this topped with the potatoes, some more cheese, and get it into the oven. I went ahead and sprayed my glass casserole dish. This is a nine by nine with some nonstick cooking spray. We're going to add the chicken mixture. Then we're going to top it with the mashed potatoes, kind of like we were making a shepherd's pie. So spread those mashed potatoes out on top. And then lastly, we're going to top it with the remainder of our light shredded cheese. And then it's going into our 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes or so, just until it is warmed through and the cheese is melted. Your potatoes will get a little bit browned as well. Dinner is out of the oven. This smells and looks delicious. This entire pot makes only six servings. So let me go ahead and plate it up and I'll be back to share points calories and macros. So here is my dinner. This looks absolutely delicious. I did top it with a little bit of parsley. All of the information for dinner is here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. We had a good day. We got a new bed. I mean, what could be better than that? We had coffee with friends. Such a fantastic day. Don't forget tonight's dinner recipe is on my website. I will link my website at the top of the description box down below for you. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, I would love to have you here. I do a What I Eat in a Day every Wednesday. Everything I shared with you today will be linked down below. Definitely check out Yvette Sports. The facial cleansing brush is amazing. Everything will be in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.